In this video, we are going to take a pre-existing Fog server that was initially installed on the uh, the trunk uh, developmental branch, which is uh, by no means stable or a release or anything like that. It's just it's the bleeding edge developmental revisions that changes on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, this this Fog server has been previously installed using the git method. Right now we're uh, we're looking at the upgrade to trunk wiki article at wiki.fogproject.org and we're going to be focusing on the the git method right here and we've already done this right here. We are already we already have a fog server, we already have a repo and we're going to update to the latest. That involves knowing where your repo is. How do we know where it is. Say we don't know anything about this fog server. Say we didn't even set it up ourselves. Well, we could do a simple search command to figure out where it is. So we would uh, issue the command find space forward slash to search the entire directory and then a pipe symbol which is the one right above the enter key on most regular keyboards. Then a space grep then a space and then install fog.sh that's the file we'll be looking for there should be only one copy of this file on your fog server and it'll tell you where your git repository is located locally on your fog server we'll just uh, we'll run this command and we already have a result and uh, the command finished so now I know that my git repo is located at root git fog project so we need to go there first let's ignore this the rest of this for now we just need this is what's important the fog project getting to the fog project directory to get there we'll change directory with cd and we'll uh, go to uh, root git fog project and now we're we're where we need to be. If we issue PWD for a present working directory, we'll see that we're inside of root git fog project. And from here, just as the wiki says, we'll do a git pull. <coughs> so it'll be git space pull. That easy. And hit enter. And this will uh this will sync everything down to your fog server. All right, so we've got a lot of uh, files that have changed, and uh, now we're synced up. We're at the latest. So now we need to go into the bin directory, as the wiki says. If we look around with the ls command, we'll see the bin directory right here. We'll go into there with cd bin. If we look around in here with the ls command, we'll see the uh, primary installer script. It's a uh, shell script. And to run that, you need to be either root or sudo. I'm already root, so all I have to do to run an executable as a root is period forward slash install fog dot sh. And if I hit enter, the installer will start. Now if uh, you're not root, you can and you're using Fedora or CentOS 7 or Red Hat Enterprise Linux. You can just uh, do a uh, su root to get to root. If you're on Ubuntu or Debian, it would be uh, sudo su. Or if you don't want to switch to root, you can just uh, use the uh, sudo commands to run the installer as sudo for. Uh, just that one particular command. You can run as sudo like this, uh, sudo period forward slash install fog dot sh. But I wouldn't recommend this. I would say go ahead and become root or become super user. Uh, and I think that this, uh, it works out better in most, <coughs> in most cases when you just go ahead and switch to, to the root user. And uh, once you have the installer running, then 
you're on your way to updating your fog server. It's as easy as that. And I guess that's all. See you later.